to be joined by our friends from Child and Adolescent Behavioral Health, and uh, they are here in studio with us now. Dan and Amy are here right now to join us here this morning. Amy is the Executive Director of the Margaret B. Shipley Health Clinic, and Dan is the Mission Advancement Director for Child and Adolescent Behavioral Health. Thank you guys, Dan and uh, Amy. Thanks for stopping in with us this morning. We appreciate you coming in. Thanks for having us. All right, uh, Amy, we'll, we'll start off with you. Now, uh, I know it's your first time on the show, so why don't you tell listeners a little bit about the Shipley Clinic and uh, what the clinic does there? Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Uh, the Shipley Clinic is a pediatric safety net nonprofit clinic. It's a mouthful. But we've been in the community for over 50 years, serving children that kind of get left behind. Uh, we serve largely Medicaid. 92% of our patients are Medicaid. And we serve regardless of the ability to pay. So basically, free pediatric health care for anybody in need. We're always accepting new patients. And we've been doing it for quite a while. So it works. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. And, and Dan, uh, we know all the great work uh, the Child and Adolescent Behavioral Health does. But if you could tell listeners, you know, anything new going on at the agency that you guys are, are, are doing these days? Yeah. So this summer, we actually renovated our four classrooms our day treatment students are in. So we are located in the old Roosevelt Elementary School building. So we put in new uh, smart boards, new flooring, new cabinetry, new cabinet tops. So when the kids came in this year, it was a brand new looking classroom for them to start the school year. And then uh, around Thanksgiving this year, we are actually moving our Alliance office. So we are currently at 1207 State Street and we are moving to the Parkway Learning Center over on Rock Hill. So our setup will be similar to our setup in Plain Township where our office will be uh, right there in the school. Wonderful, yeah. Uh, Amy, I know Child and Adolescent Behavior Health and the Shipley Clinic are actually hosting an event today. Um, can you tell us about the event, the time, and why the two agencies decided to co-host this event together? Yeah, absolutely. So we're having an open house and I came to Shipley last summer as the executive director, so new to the organization, but not new knowing of the clinic. However, I believe the community really doesn't know about us. Right. So I wanted to host an open house. I think the biggest impact that you can see to know our mission is to walk our halls and meet our providers and our families. So that's what we're doing tonight. And then I approached Joe and Dan because, of course, we're in the same building. So why not do it together right. and partner on the event? And that will help with their awareness as well. So it's from 4 to 6 tonight. We are located just east of Refuge of Hope, if you know where they are. Mm -hmm. North of uh, First Church of the Resurrection. Now the One Center. So that gives you the coordinates according to those buildings, but on yeah. 2nd Street. Okay. Northeast. Okay, wonderful. Well, you know, Dan, can you tell us what people could expect to see on a tour tonight? If they decide to stop out to the event, um, give us some details, some insight into what they could expect. Yeah, so they're going to get to tour both facilities and learn, as Amy said, about each organization. Uh, certainly, we've done a lot of renovation with our gymnasium. Uh, we've added a parking lot. We've added a park where our day treatment kids go out and can utilize that space, uh, as well as our clients. So they'll really get a chance to just tour the facility. Uh, our staff will give guided tours as well, so they'll learn about all the programs we offer. And then we'll transition them over to the Shipley Clinic, and it'll be a great time to learn about both agencies with tours from both staff. Awesome. We were talking to uh, Amy from uh, the Margaret B. Shipley Health Clinic and Dan here uh, from Child and Adolescent Behavioral Health. And, uh, Amy, uh, it sounds like you guys are, are great partners for these kids. Uh, do you guys often refer clients back and forth to each other? And are you seeing any kind of increase in the number of clients lately? Yes, absolutely we do. Not only for convenience for being under one roof, but because we serve physical health and then assess mental health, we don't do the counseling part sure. that child and adolescent takes over. So we're referring probably daily to CNA um, and they hopefully are as well very cool and uh, and dan uh, if people are not familiar with 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 downtown canton they're hearing this uh, could you maybe help the listeners know of the location and where they can park as well so amy gave you great coordinates for where we're located 
our address says Second Street, but we have a parking lot on Third Street, and then people will park in that parking lot behind the building and walk in. And then right across the street, CNA just built a new parking lot that has 34 parking spaces. So there's plenty of parking, and you don't need to utilize the street. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like tonight's event is going to be absolutely incredible. The two of you guys working together truly brings the forefront of not only physical health and mental health to our youth, um, but it really expands what you guys are able to offer working together. Um, you know, is there anything else you guys want to add or people should know about tonight um, other than definitely go and check out the Shipley location uh, and take a tour and, and get all of the information? I'll add a little bit if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, the Shipley Clinic is unique not only to our community, but pretty much the nation. There's not a safety net pediatric clinic that I know. I ask all of my insurance payers and they can't give us one. So please come on out to know who we are, what we do. We'll have patients there as well as our providers, Spanish interpreters, because 17% of our patients are Hispanic. So we're unique in that space as well. But you know, come on out four to six and grab a friend so more know about us and yeah. CNA. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in and joining us this morning and help, letting us help you get the word out, um, you know, about tonight's event and everything like that. It's always uh, nice seeing you guys. So, yes, thank you so much for having us.